Welcome back to Hikes and Walks. We're here at the TVA Rock Pile Trail, Missile Shoals, Alabama. And we're going to be hiking on the Rock Pile Trail today. All right, let's get started. As you can see, this sign up here the Rock Pile Trail. As we can see, we start off on a steep climb. The Rock Pile Trail is known for its uh, proximity to the Tennessee River, the bluff line of the Tennessee River. Okay, as you can see through the trees, but uh, characterized by rock steps and everything. Whew. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. You got to be very careful. And I did kind of take a misstep there. Here's a pretty good shot right here. These are type of views today. So today we're heading east towards the dam, not towards the bridge in a past video series here. So I was here at the TVA Nature Preserve in Missile Shoals in late January of 2021, just a few months ago. And I'm glad to be back. That was a very crowded, unseasonably warm, uh, 67 degree January day. And it was very crowded. But today's Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, April the 26th. Gorgeous trail. Just looking over here. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love this bluff line here. And uh, so it should not be as crowded. But really digging it, digging this trail. Okay, this has got some elevation gain to it. So hopefully my video won't, won't be just me <laughs> being out of breath the entire time. So, but so far, neat little um, handrail fence line on the left, kind of keep you from rolling down the bluff. So, but this trail is about five miles long, but I have heard that some portions are closed off. So my plan is just to hike as much of the rock pile day as I can. Probably won't finish it completely. And just bring you a good approximation of what it's like. This trail, According to a website, North Alabama Hiking, well, I think it's North Alabama Hiking.org or com, but uh, it's kind of like a, a blog, a hiker's blog, and he voted this trail as one of the five best hikes in North Alabama. And so far, I agree with him. It's a pretty breezy day, low 60s right now. It's about 11.40 in the morning, 11.48, and uh, so, hoping to get a good about an hour, 15, 30 minutes of hiking in and head back home. I had the day off, I had the day off of work, so even better. But this, gorgeous weather today so we're starting to kind of get away from the bluff line a little bit and make our way through here okay here's the ccc pavilion right here that was created by the okay rock pile trail the blaze of the day is white but this is the ccc pavilion which is the highlight of the ccc pavilion trail 
and really neat rock structure and everything here. This is really cool. Really, really cool. Bathrooms here and everything. Let's just take a quick look around. A fireplace. I love it. Oh, wood, wood post, double fireplaces, neat little pavilion trail. So we need to look for the white blaze here. So and here's a little bit better look over in the distance. You can see the sea, the city of Florence, Alabama, and there's the Tennessee River. Okay. So I think the walk by trail we'll pick up right down here. Looking for white, white blazes. So. Yeah, I do see a trail sign down here. This little parking area right here, I did not park here, but, so, yes, rock pile trail straight ahead. Big old vine of poison oak on that tree I believe. A little thick vine of it. Okay. Rock pile trail, Wilson Dam, 2.5 miles. Little squirrel there. Okay. Back we're back on the rock pile trail down here. Uh, old water fountain there. Long since abandoned there. I probably will not make it all the way to Wilson Dam today, but I am. I got plenty of time, but I do need do need to get back to my house before four. I have an event this evening for my oldest stepson. Uh, and so we are may not make it all the way to Wilson Dam. I would love to, but we'll just have to wait and see. I've only brought one battery, so that's about two hours worth of hiking. Aside from the first part that we start on the rock pile trail, it's not been bad at all. I believe once we get closer to Wilson Dam, there will be more hiking, uh, elevation changes and stuff. Kind of like the rock staircases, I hope. A lot of spider webs, some white blazing today, silk blazing. Friend, not me. Travers among this portion of the trail so far. When I do start a new trail, I get really excited, and um, I maybe I may overly t over talk and narrate on the videos. So, so I'm gonna try to get better at that. Neat little wood bridge coming up here. And as you can see, up here on the bridge, we'll just pan to the left right quick. We're here still on the bluff line of the Tennessee River here. Okay, let's go back. Go up here.
little bit grown up on the sides here. In my original video of the TVA Nature Trail loop, uh, he had talked about like an English garden type setting with, you know, grass and grasses and flowers and plants growing close to the trail, which I do definitely see that. Does kind of have that feel. Haven't really seen any white blazes. It's not very well blazed. Uh, this part, which I don't think it doesn't really need to be, but from that one side, did say follow the white blazes, but I don't know. If that was just the area to get you in on back on the trail one. Definitely a lot, of, a lot of spotted webs right here. I forgot my baseball cap, so that's one thing I'm already missing right here. Okay, let's see what, yeah. We're still on the right path here. A lot of, a lot of old growth trees here. It's a rock pile trail. All right, we just got it done with the little over half mile section of the rock pile trail. Now, take this trail to the Fisherman's Trail. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna continue on the rock pile trail. As you can see right here. Just straight ahead. We'll go down here and it should go through like a fisherman's wharf and everything. That's a really neat old tree, with like little cuts in it. Oh, that's enjoyable. So, we are on the rock pile trail. Wasn't quite sure if we were or were not. So, have to take about a 20 minute break. Got some water, downloaded a map. So I can stay on the trail. There should be a little fisherman's wharf down here. Saw some gentlemen out there fishing off a little pier. My goal today is just to kind of record as much as I can. Guys, gotta be careful on these stone stairs that the CCC Conservation Corps uh, made back in the 30s. Really pretty down through here, though. Really pretty.
cold for sure. Okay, you're a skimmer wall. Let me pull the pan up. You're a skimmer wall. down here to the Tennessee River. Really pretty through here. Really pretty. Really pretty through here. That is the Tennessee River right there. Huh. Hope we can make our way through here. Okay. Kind of a little nice little neat little wharf right here. back up here uh, come we just made way we just retraced our steps on the rock pile trail and gonna take the old first quarters trail back to the uh, park loop trail parking I just haven't filmed this part yet now on this side We was out here exploring the rock, pile, the rock pile trail today. Did not make it all the way to Wilson Dam. Uh, made it to the Fisherman's Wharf area, and then I came back. I am under a little bit of a time crunch, but I want to get here and film for about 45 minutes. Maybe get enough for like two videos. But this is just a really pretty trail. Okay, should go up here. A lot of ferns up through here, or uh, are they a type of fern? I don't know. Kind of looks like one up in here, but pretty through here, just everywhere. Ferns everywhere. Looks like a. Almost like a jungle type atmosphere. <laughs> but this is just gonna be a mishmash of trails. And I was hoping to get the Wilson Dam Wilson Dam, but I can do that another day. There's some fishermen on the fisherman's wharf and I really didn't want to bother them and time limitation so I just thought I would take some another tr another trail on the way back and add that really neat rock section here oh, beautiful stonework I never get tired of these stone staircases. Yeah, 
I'm starting to breathe hard. I've been out here for almost an hour and a half. Okay. Okay. Old first quarters trail. And it will be a road walk back. All right, so thank you for joining me on another episode of Hikes and Walks and Out of Breaths. <laughs> but seriously, thank you again for joining me. Hope you have a great day. And we'll pick back up next time on the next hike. Thank you.